In the days of old, the Freyoan Empire was a burgeoning society on the cutting edge of alchemy and sorcery. The king, held in high esteem by his people, was a valiant warrior and well respected throughout the land. He had a well honed sense of justice and was a good man at heart. The king supported the development of all magic systems, with the exception of necromancy. The Dark Art was banned, and Mortalvis, a powerful necromancer, and his followers were banished from the Empire of Freyland forever. The king had always suspected that Mortalvis would seek his revenge against him. One fateful evening, his premonitions were realized. military leader and political advisor. Second was Calvin, noble alchemist who took on all matters of sorcery. Fearing that the race would return, Endurus took the healthy and fled to the northern region to start his own sovereignty, the kingdom of Earth. Calvin, often at odds with Endurus, was appalled that the sick and the crippled had been left behind. He took the injured and his loyal sorcerer and moved to the western jungles to begin constructing the Chrysalis Collective. During his exile, Portalvis took refuge in the southern, scorched earth region of Freyowin. It was there that he built the realm of the Pariah, deep inside a massive volcano. After his race demolished Freyowin, he returned to the ruins to collect the corpses of the deceased for resurrection to serve in his army of the dead. As time passed, the hatred between the three groups increased. Small border conflicts between the factions turned into large skirmishes, and the skirmishes turned into massive battles. The battles for ground control raged, and soon escalated into the sky. Flying creatures were bred, trained, and summoned by each of the factions for use in their bid to dominate the land. And Durus, Caliban, and Mortalvis each sought to unify the land and sky under their own rule. Preparations were made, defenses constructed, and aerial warriors were trained to fly their kingdom's wardens. The conflicts would soon be legendary. The time has come for war. The time has come for courage. The time has come for bloodshed. The time of savage skies. The Twin. <coughs> Greetings, warrior. Your first mission is one of unusual importance. King Andurus has declared that we shall set aside our differences with the Chrysalis in order to protect our people from the greater threat of the Pariah. Our diplomats are now returning from a peace conference. Soon we shall be allied with the Chrysalis, something the Pariah are wise to fear. It is vital that these diplomats return safely. Of course, the Pariah will try to stop us. The diplomatic caravan is armed, but cannot protect itself against threats from the air or from great numbers on the ground. If and when the Pariah attack, we must protect the caravan at all costs! Why, you must be ready to fight. 
The royal caravan is vulnerable. Ambush here in the river canyons. Protect it. The pariah have mobilized cannons and airborne artillery. Clear the caravan's path. Pariah have unleashed Gormags. The caravan is all but defenseless against them. You've done well. Rapid fire! Another wave is attacking. You've done well. All is clear. The caravan draws near to our lands. There is hope. You found a shard.
Every threat to our diplomats has been annihilated, and the path home is clear. You have proven yourself a great warrior.